guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janet, and today I have another empties video for you. So if you're interested to see what fills this box this time, then just keep watching. It's a lot. Okay, so I'm not quite sure how long I've been filling this box up. This does have like a lot. It's not just like a uh, beauty or skincare or anything like that. It is a collaborative of a bunch of stuff around the house that I thought I would just include. So let's get started with some dog treats. So they literally just finished this one today. It is the Rachel Ray Meatballs Little Treats. It's a beef, chicken, and bacon recipe, it says. They like them. Now they really like this. This is the Rachel Ray Turkey Bacon. Man, they really love that. I've, I've already repurchased them two more bags of this one. So I usually buy like these type of treats from Chewy and if I'm running low or not getting my Chewy order in before we run out, then I will pick up these from Walmart. They are the canine carryouts, right? Yeah, and this is in the chicken flavor. They like it. It's something different for them. I just try to watch the ingredients that are in there, like dog food or treats. I just want to be very cautious. 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 I want to be very careful. Okay. <laughs> just want to be careful and make sure that I'm giving them something at least halfway decent. Next up is Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day. This is the multi-surface everyday cleaner and peppermint scent. Now, I love everything peppermint and a lot of it has to do with is peppermint helps with migraines and I get migraines all the time. Like I just saw my doctor, we did one of those telemedicine ones like basically I FaceTime with her and this was on the April 30th yeah and I have to tell her like every time I go see her how many migraines I had for the month and I lost count at seven so I use stuff like this <laughs> It does say this is a limited edition seasonal scent. I believe the only time I can get my hands on this scent is around Christmas. So I tend to go a little overboard and pick them up. But I have like the essential oils. Yeah. This is also from Grove Collaborative. This is the lavender and bergamot scent candle. So here's the thing, it smells like lavender. That's not it. But when I light it, I don't smell it. Am I the only one that wants to be able to smell your daggone candle if you light it? Just say it. <laughs> Just saying, I think I would like to be able to. Yeah. I would just like to be able to smell the damn candle. This is the Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon. This is in the summer edition. That's why the bottle looks different. Okay, so I'm so mad about this. The pump on this one did not work. 
So I transferred all the content into another one because I tried to move the pumps and it wouldn't work. So then I transferred the content. Guess what? It still didn't work. So basically this whole thing that cost $23 because the price sticker is still on it because I got it from Ulta. I didn't get to use. So mad about that. This is the Hemp's, uh, what do they call it? There we go. It's the Hemp's Foaming Body Wash. This is in the, what is it? Sugar cane and papaya. I do love this stuff. It's really good. Next I have two of these Dove deodorants. What is this? Pomegranate and lemon. I like them. You guys know I just purchased them in like a big lot on Amazon. Okay, this LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. This is in Ivory, okay? So, I mix a lighter shade with my It's Cosmetic. This It's Cosmetic CC Plus Illumination. I have this is in light. So I mix these two. And then it seems to be the right shade and it also doesn't oxidize. Because I have noticed if I just use the CC cream on its own, it oxidizes. Like I'm orange. Who wants the hell to be orange? I don't. But I was going to say there's more in it. It takes forever. Even though you think, like, I could probably squeeze this last little bit out. I just can't figure out how. Even though, I mean, you think that you're empty, you're really not on this. This one I was because, like, the whole thing, like, broke. I don't know. It was a mess. But it is empty. I use the suckers so I couldn't use them no more. Oh, this is the Glade uh what is it called the glade refills this one's blue odyssey i liked it it was okay now so we also got rachel ray's burger bites i tend to go a little crazy the rachel ray's chicken paw pies they love them they're empty so they love them then Rachel Ray's Savory Roasters. All those meatballs, see we had a big bag. They love them. So when I got all these big bags, I'm notorious for not knowing sizes, not paying attention to sizing, none of that, right? When I got these big bags, I thought I was getting these size, but I wasn't. So this is another one of, what is this? This is, oh, this is chicken and waffles. Guys, like they literally look like chicken and waffles. It was hilarious. I wanted to save one, but I didn't. Then we also have these canine carryouts. These are little mini hot dogs. They literally look like this. They like them. They had no complaints. Uh, we're going to talk about that last. Okay, so used up this Brigio. Don't despair, repair. It's a strength plus moisture leave in mask. To be honest with you, I can't tell you that this did anything. I'm sorry. Also, I used up this Pretty as a Peach Shea Butter Hand Cream. This is from Bath and Body Works. Helps the vibe. Turn it, no? There we go. Pretty <laughs> speech. Okay, so I also had this It's Cosmetic Brow Power Brow Pencil. It's just the mini. I, I don't know why, but I like minis because then I can go through stuff. So 
let's talk about what happened here. What first happened was this. Y'all see how bent and crooked that is? Fine, I probably did it. But after that, the lid does not stay on, right? Okay, so here's the other side, right? Let's see if it's gonna do it. And look, there's still product. Let me tell you why. Of course it's not gonna do it. This whole thing would fall out. Like, I don't know if it broke off. Nope, that's the end of it. But the product just falls out. And truthfully, I got tired of trying to fix it, trying to put it back. I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not messing with it no more. I would not repurchase that at all. Next up is the Neutrogena Makeup Wipe Removers. Y'all know I love these. They are awesome. Then I got these Quill Eye Patches Hydrogel with Aloe Vera. This is what a little sample looked like. Don't buy those. Those were not good. Like there was no hydro gel, there was no moisture, there was no nothing. This is the Ole Hendrickson Stay Balance Oil Control Cleansing Cloths. These are not my favorite. They're just not my favorite. I don't know about makeup wipes from here. None of them have actually worked out for me. I guess I just probably prefer the Neutrogena the best. There are products from here that I love. I don't have any in here. I'm still using them, but I love them. Makeup wipes are just not it, unfortunately. Next we have, let's see, how many we got? We got three right here. Go, the Oral B Complete Glide Scope Outlast Last Floss Picks. You guys know. You know, you know, you know. Oh, hold on. So I had this John Masters Organics. It's a hairspray. That's what it looked like. I don't use that much hairspray. I only use it every once in a while. and basically use it when my bangs are not cooperating and I need them to do what I want them to do. <laughs> so then I'll use a little hairspray. So it takes me quite a while to even run through the travel size of hairspray. I just don't put a lot of products in my hair. I mean, I would repurchase that though. I just have another travel size, so I don't need to repurchase anything anytime soon. This is the Elmez, Elmez, Elmez. Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Aging Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. I liked it, it was a good moisturizer. Did, did, did what it's supposed to do. Then I have two of these. You guys already know they're the um, eyebrow razors. Love them, still have more, so I don't need to repurchase as of yet. Okay, now we're getting down. I'm gonna save some of these for the end. We have another Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. And then I told you guys like my back and stuff's been hurting. So I buy these over the counter lidocaine patches and usually I buy the, like the name brand, but I found these on Amazon, the health wise. And they're so much more affordable. Catches is I went to go buy some more because I need more. 
they don't know when they'll have them again. So I did have to purchase the brand name from, here's another one. The brand name ones from Sam's Club and they're shipping them to me. We have another oil, Oral B dental floss. Dental fix. You know it's not complete empties if we don't have some wisp. Max fresh up in here. I'm just saying, if I took half a care, if I took as good care that I do now with my teeth when I was younger, we wouldn't have to do a lot of stuff. It would save me a lot of money. So here's two more of patches. I didn't keep all of them. It was just something I was going through consistently. So I was like, hey, we're going to keep those and put them in the empties because it's truly stuff that I'm using up. And yeah, I will rebuy them as soon as I can. It, just, it helps it helps me like they don't help my husband but they to me they help me maybe it's a mental thing maybe it's not i don't know we have some more makeup wipe removers oh looky some more uh dental sticks dental picks is what i call them more of the lidocaine patches okay we finally finished this i don't know if you guys remember I want to say it was probably July, August of 2019. I did an order at Sephora and I bought makeup wipe removers. One, I didn't know they were going to be this small. I think I had three or four of them. And I told you I would never do it again. And I won't because they suck. But I, what I did use them for was, one of, I have one of the Jeffree Star like, lip scrubs. So I'll put the lip scrub on and then I was just taking one of these to wipe it off. They worked well for that. But would I go out and buy some makeup wipe removers just to do that? Heck to the no. So I also tried this Nails Ink London Thirsty Hands. It's a super hydrating hand mask. This is what it looks like. So you put it on and keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. This crap works. My hand was so soft and so smooth. Um, I have one more of those that I'm kind of saving. Now along the same lines, except this is for your feet. <laughs> so it's an exfoliating foot mask. You put it on, you wear it for Oh, 15 to 90 minutes. Then you take it off and just pat off your foot and stuff. And then in about a week, your foot is going to peel, I promise you. <laughs> but once it does, like your feet are so damn smooth, it's all preference. I do it every once in a while. If I feel like um, my foot blade becomes rough, because I wear tennis shoes all the time, so if it feels like it becomes rough and after, you know, multiple times of putting lotion on, it doesn't seem to help, I'll do one of these because... So we also finished up some Tide Pods. Got to do that laundry. And then, okay, so we're talking about teeth. And I know my dentist doesn't like it, but I have an obsession with... Reese's, more importantly, the white ones, they're so damn good. So good. Okay, so by now you've seen my video that is titled something along the lines, I'm sure, of a warning, take my advice, don't do what I did type of thing. And it was talking about the liquid IV, um, coffee, coffee over cardio drink enhancers, basically, and the amount of sodium and sugar and those things. And I had said in there that the liquid IV, I drank so many, it's ridiculous, and that I would end up showing you guys when I did another empties. 
here they are. So this is three packages of, uh, how many were in these? 16 sticks. This is the passion fruit, lemon lime, passion fruit. 11 sugar, 500 milligrams of sodium. Like, I feel horrible that I have so many, but it gets better. Not really. They had sent out an email of you could get a sample size of the strawberry cake for a dollar. Well, I took that, created multiple email addresses, and order them for a dollar. Cause this is the strawberry cake win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven, okay? Seven packages. Each package had three of these little sticks. I mean, this is seven dollars worth. Don't get me wrong, like even the packaging still smells really good. I'm just ashamed for what I did. But I want to share with you guys if I can help one person not to make the same mistake that I did. It's worth it. So there's one last thing that I wanted to share and it is the Inkyless, the apple cider vinegar acid pill. It's formulated for best for blemish prone skin, helps to even skin tone and texture. I don't have blemish prone skin. I don't really have texture either. I just have skin, it's probably dull of anything. Um, so I got this in, I forget, some site that I've signed up for sent it to me for a review. This is what it looks like. I mean, the packaging is really cool. The container is really in neat. I will be honest, I've only used this once because I'm scared to use it again. My skin hated it. Like, it felt like it was on fire. Um, it got really red really quickly. Like it didn't do anything for me except irritate the shit out of my skin. So if that is something that you're looking for, it, I'm assuming it's just because I don't have the skin type that it's recommended for. I'm sure that's the whole reason why it didn't work but yeah guys that's all i got thank you so much for watching i appreciate it if you haven't already please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up it helps my channel out and i greatly greatly appreciate each and every one of you that do and don't forget that our goal our next goal is to hit 1000 subscribers so yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Leave me any suggestions that you might want to see down below. That would be cool. And I'll see you guys later.